hey guys welcome back to my channel so we are doing a nail video today and i figured let's make it a chit chat video i really do love chatting with you guys sometimes it is a little bit hard trying to connect because you're talking to a camera like i feel like in person i express myself no problem on camera it's like i'm talking to myself <laughs> uh but I get a little nervous because it's like you never know who's watching on the other side of the screen but i always do these videos um to relate to someone because i know that someone else is going through the same thing so um today's topic is healing uh which i've been on a healing journey for quite some time and i've been just more intentional about really being like aware and taking action into changing the parts of myself i just don't care for so if you're gonna do your nails with me go ahead and get your stuff out grab a drink glass of wine um and i'm gonna share all the products that i'm using they will be linked down below so go ahead and get your beetles kit this is the gel x dupe and i like this set because it comes with the nails it comes with the lamp that you need and the glue so go ahead and grab that you do need a uv light all these other items you don't have to get the exact but this nail drill it this particular one you need it it's affordable it's very gentle on the nails and the quality of the drill is really good for 40 dollars you're not going to get any better than this so i'm going to be doing almond shape my favorite shape and um, i already etched the nails so you want to go ahead and file the inside of the nail so that it adheres better to your natural nail so healing is a, i feel like a touchy subject because it is such a personal journey so raw and so vulnerable and exposing yourself in that way to people can be scary because you never know what someone's motives are you don't know if people will use that information against you and there's just so many things with exposing yourself in that way so so i feel like i started on a true healing journey i would say last year last year around march is when i really like started taking action i would say i've always been a very self-aware person and I've made a lot of strides throughout the years, a lot of growth. But then there's always like that was just this one thing that I feel like was always like holding me back. And one thing is forgiveness. Um, I'm not a very forgiving person. Once I feel like someone crosses the line, they are completely cut out of my life and I don't give many second chances. But I've also learned that in doing that, it was hurting me more. And I was the one carrying around all the anger and resentment. And in doing that, holding on to that really can make you a very bitter and angry person. So I had to really ask myself, what is it that you feel will make you happy? And then in that, I've also been kind of growing my relationship with god i've always believed in god but i just didn't have a personal relationship i did not pray like that i would do the surface thank you for waking me up but going to him and really talking to him has been very difficult because of course if you didn't grow up in that environment that's very hard so i feel like for the past year i've just been really reflecting and relinquishing control that is a big one for me i felt like i could do it all and now that i am just letting go and letting god i feel like a huge weight is being lifted off my shoulder because i definitely tried to do it all i definitely tried to hold in my feelings and just put my needs on the back burner and like i said in doing that i've only hurt myself in the process so i really sat down last year and just really did some deep reflection like what is it that you want what will make you happy? What will make you feel fulfilled? And I'm still working on that. But I do notice that not having a relationship with God was the void that I was missing because I would be doing so well and then I'll have one little mishap in my life and then I feel like my world is crumbling down. And that was because I was trying to carry it all 
by myself. Oh man, now I gotta fix this. I have to do this, I have to do that. And it just was not conducive to my mental health carrying it on the way that I was. So I've just been trying to take things one day at a time and letting go and letting God. And within that, I have just felt a lot lighter, um, more open, because when I would get in these like sad modes, I would like go in a bubble and kind of hide and isolate myself. And I realized constantly doing that wasn't really, I wasn't growing in that space. So my healing has honestly been just growing my relationship with God. This past year has been very, very isolating for me and it's lonely at times and I've had a lot, a lot of moments to myself to really like reflect, but at the same time, I can't be all anti-social either because like I said, when you sit in something for too long, then it's not, it's not good. My thing is I'll get in a rut and then I'll sit in it for months. <laughs> And that's not good. It's okay to have your moments. It's okay to get in a rut, but feel the feeling and get out of it. Because the longer you sit in it, the longer you sit idle, it's only going to get worse. That's just where I've been. Just trying to be intentional about changing those unhealthy habits that I had before. It sounds like I'm rambling, but I'm really just being completely... Uh, vulnerable with you guys and I hope the message is received so are you guys following through I'm just putting the nail glue onto the nail and curing it under the light I'm sure you guys have all seen the gel x technique but yeah I love doing my nails like this like I get a good three weeks out of my nails if you prep it really good I didn't show this part but I just um lightly drilled my nails my nail bed with the drill and um cleaned it with alcohol before I went in with the glue. So that just kind of helps to dehydrate the nail so that the glue sticks better. I've found the most healing actually by working out. So that's why y'all been seeing me staying in the gym. I have just found such a deep love for the gym. I go three to four times a week and it is just my time to decompress, release those good hormones. And I literally think about nothing when I'm in the gym and I think that's why I love it there I'm thinking about the workout that I'm doing strengthening my body and I just feel so good being in there I will go to the gym in a heartbeat that is my thing and I know a lot of people say oh the gym isn't for me but I do think that having some type of physical activity to move your body makes the world of difference for your mental health did I just put that on cricket <laughs> I just put my nail on crooked. <laughs> That's okay. I'll file it down. But um, therapy is such a good tool. And I know that there was a big stigma around therapy in the black community. But I think we've caught up now. I feel like most people that I know have gone to therapy or just starting. And it's such a beautiful thing because that whole sweeping things under the rug is just not effective at all so getting out talking to someone who does not know you who has an unbiased opinion and who's professionally trained to be able to recognize the things that we are going through and give us the tools that we need to live a better life is just priceless so if you have insurance usually it is free um through your insurance but you also can check out like virtual uh, therapy like better help this is not sponsored but i i did better help last year and i was on the like discounted rate of like 45 dollars a week and um it just made the biggest difference i was like once you start therapy it's like why didn't i do it sooner get in therapy let's get in therapy let's talk to somebody because we cannot hold it all in we have to release these feelings getting out in nature is so important get some fresh air soak up sun you know a lot of us are vitamin d deficient because we're not out in the sun enough and black people need sun i'm sorry on sundays i get out the house and then i have a little one so i, I take him to the park every weekend let him 
play outside because kids need to be out and about as well. You know, we need to detach from the tablets and things like that. So that's kind of our no device day. We go out and we just enjoy nature and it's just the best feeling ever. So connecting with nature is so important. It is very, very important. Do never forgetting the things that you love. Like for me, I don't care what I'm going through. I don't let myself go. <laughs> because I love doing my nails. I love doing my hair. I love looking pretty. So I don't care what I'm going through. Oh, I'm pampering myself. Like I'm gonna have my pamper day. Because when you put everything and everybody before you, that's when you start to feel empty and you start to feel unworthy and you just lose the sense of importance and priority for yourself. So always make sure you squeeze in a little bit of me time, no matter what you are doing. And I know it's hard when you have children. I know for me at one point, um, of course, having a baby, I just, that was the last thing on my mind. But I still made some time to keep my hair done, do something. You know what I'm saying? I always still made time. And lastly is having a village um that is so so important um for us to have a sense of community and people that will help you and allowing the help that's another thing that we do we move about life thinking we can do it all and we don't use the people in our lives like we don't ask them for anything and i get it we all have our own problems and things that we have to do but if you have Someone in your life that is offering the help, take it. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. It will lighten the load and make you feel like you, like I said, you don't have to carry the world on your shoulders. But that is where I am mentally. I feel really good. I'm in a very good headspace right now. I have my moments. Of course, every day is not perfect, but I feel like I'm moving in a good direction and I can definitely feel the growth. Let me know in the comments, how do you heal? What does healing look like to you? And what are some of the things that you've done to heal? I just like to have these conversations because of course I have a, a majority woman audience and it's always good to know that you're not alone. Healing is hard, it's hard. You know, having to revisit pain and situations you wanna forget, but in order to heal, you must reveal. And then we are going to wear UV gloves. I know you guys have heard the talk about these UV lamps being very damaging to our skin and like altering our DNA, which is kind of scary. But at this point, I'm not going to stop using it. <laughs> so if you're a brown girl, you need this. This is the perfect natural flesh tone nude that you'll ever own. It is so gorgeous. Don't think about it. Just add it to the cart. I do think I'm just going to do the white uh, French. So I'm just going to go in with one coat of this. Like, can you see this color? It is so, so pretty. Especially, like I said, if you want to wear it by itself, go in with two coats. And um, yes, this is like the perfect true nude color for us. Look at that. So natural. So now we're gonna go in with our UV lights and cure both. You will also need a sheer pink color to put on top of the nude. If you plan on doing um, like a French tip, it just kind of completes the look. This is after just one coat of each. This looks super natural. If you wanted to stop here, you could just add a top coat and go. But I do want some white tips. So we're gonna use this here i bought stencils to do my tips but i still found that i had to go back and clean it up so i just freehand this but whichever works for you do that i'm just gonna freehand it because i like a really really thin line for my tips so i do my white tips is i just go around the tip of the nail something like that 
tell me this is not giving full set salon quality practice makes perfect it guys we are done look how natural and just clean my nails look you cannot tell me this isn't giving salon i truly love doing my own nails at home and i get to take my time drink some wine just do me and vibe out listen to some music and just pamper myself all right guys, so that is it. Nails are done and I feel pretty and I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and thanks for spending your time with me today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.